Hi, I'm Brittany with Condi Systems, and today we're going to be making one of our newest products, which is the shoulder bag. I have two, one in a smaller and larger size. These are made of neoprene, and it's nice because you can put a laptop in there. It keeps it nice and safe, and the flaps detach, so when you sell them to your customers, you'll make sure to buy and sell them multiple flaps because you can buy these separately from the bags. Same goes for the actual padding that sits on your shoulder. You can buy extras and sublimate them as well. So they make a really neat idea for you to offer to your customers. Today I'm going to be pressing the larger shoulder bag. So what I'm going to do first is remove my flap. And I've already taken off my shoulder padding. So I'll set this aside. And now we're ready to get started. What I have are my two paddings, the images for both, the shoulder and flap. You'll need a sticky lint roller, some Condi Dye Trans Pro Spray. You can use scissors to cut out your image if you need to, depending on the size of your image, and a couple sheets of protective paper. We're going to press these almost exactly the same way. So I'm going to start first with pre-pressing. We're going to do my shoulder pad first. Grab a sheet of protective paper, place this on the bottom, add another sheet of protective paper on the top, and we have this press set at 400 degrees. We're going to pre-press for about 10 seconds using medium pressure. Once my 10 seconds is up, I'm going to lift and swing away on my press. There's a couple things about the neoprene. The purpose of our pre-press is you'll notice a lot of steam comes out. There's a lot of moisture that can be stuck in the neoprene. And also, it starts to kind of warp but that's just when it's warm. With the second it cools, you will not notice that at all. And while it's still warm, I'm going to run my sticky lint roller over it just real briefly. Once you've finished with your sticky lint roller, grab my can of Pro Spray. We're going to lightly mist my image. Place my neoprene in the center. And again, the black edging makes it nice because it should have a full color and the transfer won't bleed onto the edges. You want to make sure you press firmly down, smooth out any wrinkles, just so that every single corner of the neoprene is covered along that trim. Now that I have my image aligned, Go back to my press, place a sheet of protective paper on the bottom, grab my neoprene, place it so my image is facing down, add another sheet of protective paper on the top, and we're going to be pressing for 60 seconds. And that sound means we're done, so I'm going to lift and swing away on my press. Remove my top sheet of protective paper. And I'll let my neoprene cool. You can see it's just a little bit curled on the edges. As it cools, you'll see it flatten right out. And I'm going to do the exact same thing while this is cooling with my flap. Same time, same pressure, and same heat. Once I finished pressing my neoprene flap, I quickly put my two neoprene products back on my bag and assembled it. And you can see just how well it turned out. Like I said before, you can buy multiple flaps and shoulder pads, so make sure you want to bundle those up and give your customers as much as you can and group them together and make a nice little bundle package. Neoprene products, again, I have a video of it. We have lots of neoprene. Uh, 
really neat products. Be sure to visit us at Condi.com for all of our products and services and check out that neoprene video at Condi.tv.com along with my other videos. I'm Vernio County Systems and thank you for joining us.